issue of language barrier is actually something that is going to be a big challenge, um, knowing that the places that these doctors have been sent to are mostly the remote areas. And majority of Kenyans, um, even as we practice ourselves, know that we don't even speak to them in English, we speak to them in Swahili. And most of them actually speak in their mother tongues. This concern comes just days after more than 50 doctors were deployed to different counties to resuscitate the ailing health sector. According to the government, the Cuban doctors will work as consultants, but the language barrier may pose an even bigger challenge. It's going to be a very big challenge. Um, as a doctor, when you're practicing and you're not understanding what your patient is saying, then you're likely not to be able to be led on the right path as when it comes to diagnosing a patient and the, there's information that will be lost that is crucial for diagnosis of a patient. Some stakeholders say that the government was not transparent in the hiring of the Cuban doctors. The state's argument about building capacity in the health sector is being challenged by KMPDU arguing that the government should have prioritized hiring unemployed Kenyan doctors first. We are not jealous. And that is a very wrong notion. We were speaking out against discrimination of Kenyan doctors who've been trained locally. Resources have been used to train these doctors and now they're not being offered employment. Discrimination in the sense that they're being paid much higher than the local doctors. We have four universities offering family medicine in Kenya. It's a four-year postgraduate course. And um, the Kenyan doctors, the Family Medical uh, Association of Kenyan Doctors is part of the global uh, body called Wonka. So you see, we do have family physicians in the country. We do have institutions training family physicians in the country. So far, only half of the Cuban doctors have been deployed to the counties as specialists, a move hailed by some governors. The government says there will be an exchange program in future where Kenyan doctors will be deployed to different counties on a capacity-building mission. Helen Aura, NTV.